wasn't helping us out any. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're still in one piece. Oh, God. I'm gonna throw up. Please, let's not do that. Hey, uh, I don't know how you kept your cool back there. Easy. I'm me. I have nerves of steel. Get that artifact to Constellation. Go. Make the delivery with Constellation. This is all one big write-off now. But yes, I want to welcome you all back to the channel once again. And thank you all for tuning in. I'm your host. I am not a noob, a.k.a. noob. You're rocking with Beyond Next Gen Gaming. And I'm back at you with another edition, episode three. First playthrough, early access of Starfield. Captain Walker, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. I know this AI did not just tell me that learning to fly this spaceship is as easy and as simple as riding a bike. Right. Please, to maximize your viewing quality of this early access bit, first playthrough gameplay of Starfield, please at this time turn your players to 4K60. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the spectacle. I'm sure that you all will be absolutely blown away. All right, let's sit in the helm here. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we gonna learn today. Flight systems check. Engines check. like we're in orbit. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. I've never played this game a day in my life. And he said, hey, if you're already an experienced pilot, just turn on all the systems and take flight. Right. Let's complete this diagnostics run of our systems check. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed, try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Check. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Internal boost and thrusters. Check. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Shield systems, check. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you 
familiar with ship combat tactics because that's I know this enemy pirate ship did not just jump bear. out of warp drive and start attacking me. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. And in doubt, use the lasers. If you keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. Now, it took me a year and a day to figure out which button exactly is the home and missile, which is exactly the Y button. But I just want to make sure I keep eyes on this new pirate ship target, take him down as quick as possible. Hopefully, sustain minimum damage. enough to the debris and press A to loot them which is a lot easier said than done if you want my opinion two more crimson fleet ships are jumping into our location captain I could have guessed that easily Pilot, so they want to stress test me. Fleet ship. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. Looks like we need to plot and chart a course for Crete. There we go. Just trying to pull up the galaxy menu. Try have to hold the start button for that.
Vectera Moon. Yeah, I knew it was the moon. I figured I was on the moon. Mm, looks like we got a a deep, deep celestial body scan there, showing the resources. We have a bigger and more in-depth view of the solar map here of this system. Okay, so we need to figure out how to put this course in for Crete so we can hit warp drive and get over to our next mission objective and there goes a larger view and more in the even more in-depth view of the star map I'm really, I'm really satisfied and impressed with the visuals on here, especially for this being a Bethesda game. They're not really too much known for the visual or graphical touches on the game. They're more known for the features of the actual game. But with this here, something like We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay, so we've we've arrived here at Crete safely. What do you guys say we head down to the surface and go pay this captain of the Crimson Fleet a visit and ask him why does he keep sending his ships after us? There's no way this artifact can be that important, or maybe it is. Level one, Skywalker. Sorry, like this, this game is awesome. Like, did you not see my character model and the realism in his facial expression after getting out of the cockpit straight like that? What do we got over here? A bitten sandwich? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Never know. Just might get hungry in the middle of this mission. Captain Walker, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Nothing less. Well said. Can never not be entertained going here. To the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Over 250k lines of dialogue. The heck is that crawling out of the sand looking like a sand shrew? What is this? Looking like something straight up from Pokemon. Are they dangerous? Are they friendly? What is this? Got my pistol ready just in case it decides to make any non-friendly movements. But so far, I'm definitely 
please with this early access. Absolutely please. I'm gonna get ready to get up one out of here. It's gonna do it for this edition. Starfield first playthrough, early access, episode three in the books. I wanna thank you all for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed the show. If so, and you want to show your support for my channel, you can do so simply by leaving a comment, smashing that like button for me, share the bit, hit that subscribe bell notification so you don't miss anything that I upload. Down below we have a link for Cloud9 Artware, affordable merch, very trendy, and in style. Till next time, peace and be well.